my name is Mike Lejeune, and I'm honored to be on the board of directors for the uh, NSA Houston chapter this year. And, and one of the reasons is because I get a chance to run with this guy, you know, Chris Cheatham West. And we're going to be playing with you uh, this coming Saturday in a program. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a two-message program. Matter of fact, Chris, you're, you're going to be delivering, uh, I think, one of the most important messages that we've, that we've actually addressed because of the fact that we're going to be looking at, at, at the word Google and analytics. And, and we, we know those words, but we get a chance to put those things together. And mm -hmm. as speakers, share with us uh, a little bit about why, why is it important for us as speakers to really uh, own and marry and, and wrap our arms around that? It's really important because if we're trying to market a business, specifically this type of business that we're in, you kind of have to get an idea of who's already looking at your website and also what can you do to change your website to better reset audience? Mm. Because we all know that we need to have a target audience. But what about the audience that's already getting on your website? Are they leaving on certain pages? Are they not engaging in the call to action? So we all want them to click that contact us button or we want them to purchase those books or products. But understanding what they're doing while they're on their site, where they're leaving. And not only that, but where are they coming from? Because we do all this effort as far as social media, email marketing, Google search engine optimization. We're doing all this, but we have to make sure that that's actually generating results and that traffic's actually getting to your site. And then once you know that, you can make those key decisions. So I think that's those are the number one reasons that it can be helpful. Yeah. So it, it was, if I understand correctly, then by using Google Analytics, it gives us an opportunity to look at what we're crafting in our websites and in our uh, our social media and do a better job of, of selecting both the, the wording that we put together, uh, the messaging that we're putting out, so that we're not just uh, using a shotgun approach, but we're really more intentional in figuring out what's really working so we can do either more of or do something new. Exactly. So once you know what's working, you can do more of that and you can grow. Whereas sometimes you can start a business and weeks will go by, months will go by, even years, and you're implementing all these strategies, but you don't know what's working. So you just keep implementing strategies that are not effective. Oh, and it's, so, it's, it's, that, it's that Mike theory, bang your head against the wall a bunch of times and see if you make something work, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's, that's what we're going to talk about is how to know what's working. And also, you'll find that there's a lot of interesting things you can track that you really didn't know about. And so these methods are really going to be helpful and helpful. And then you can implement these within a week or so, like yeah, right so what, after the session. Yeah. What about for somebody like me who's, um, you know, or, or somebody who's, who's not real tech savvy, you know, when, with the subject we're dealing with, a lot of times people kind of cringe on it because they're going, well, I just, you know, I don't know much about technology. Yeah, exactly. So what I always tell different groups, whether it's a large corporate organization or a smaller company, is that tools like Google, tools like Google Analytics, it's not meant for you to understand every single part of the tools. It's specifically meant for different types of audiences. So we have to go in there with that in mind and think about what data do we need? Do we need to only focus on how we're getting the traffic? Do we only need to focus on how long people are on the site? Do we also need to focus on where the referring sites are coming from. So we got to go in there and think about, okay, what do I need from this? And that's what I always tell people. So whenever I go in over, over the analytics, I tell people, here are five things you want to look at for your specific type of business. Yeah, is, is, the, data, is the data easy to get your hands on? Yes, really easy. <laughs> so, I love that. I love that. that. And, you know, yeah. Because I think, I think easy is great. And that's, <laughs> that's why the program that I'm going to be covering is on creating audience impact moments in, in a virtual environment. And I think it's a, it's a key aspect of it because we don't have to do really grand, bold, wild things. There's some easy things for us to do to really make our messages hum, especially if you're finding out what is it about your message that's really working, working well for you. Definitely. So what do you feel are some of the struggles people have when it comes to presenting their content virtually? I, I think that the biggest thing is that we, we lose sight of the fact that, um, you know, that we're, we're in a room by ourselves, 
All right. Like right now it's, I have my entire company here on this call right now. Right. <laughs> and so uh, I've got a couple of virtual people to help support me, but it's, it's, it's me talking to you. My dogs aren't even in the room with me. And, and so I've got to create energy. I've got to do something to push energy out into the audience, knowing there's not much coming back, but the key word is energy. In a virtual mm -hmm. setting, we, we lose track sometimes of what we do. We, we, we give content, you know, we, we display content, but you have to do it in a way that, that creates a, uh, a, an energy that goes with it so that it engages the audience. Okay. Yeah, great. So I think that's uh, really important because in a virtual setting, it's not in person where we can see the reactions. It's a little bit different, but there's still so many ways to engage. Yeah. So with your program, do you feel like there's going to be a good amount of takeaways that people can start implementing as far oh, as immediately, and immediately, because I'm going to, I've been on this journey for a long time. Now I started this journey back when I went to my very first winter lab, uh, NSA winter lab in Las Vegas. And, and this guy, Giovanni Levera talked about audience impact moments about when we're delivering a, pro a, a program is that it, there's there, you're trying to impact the audience at key moments key. And there's different techniques that you can use. And so I started, I actually studied with him. Uh, I started this journey to go and look at what can we do to make our messages really resonate. And when the pandemic hit and we went to this virtual setting, I started transposing all that into a virtual setting. And there's, I think there's sort of simple things that we can do to make sure that what we're doing is we're engaging two things. We're engaging the mind of the audience and we're engaging the heart. And you're oh, trying okay. to do both of those, those things. And what happens is you have to do something because they're sitting at their, their desks, there's distractions that are going on and you have to find ways to kind of hold the person's attention to truly engage. You got to engage their eyes. You got to mm -hmm. engage their ears. And we're going to talk about the importance of what I refer to as the mind's eye whenever uh -huh. you're doing a program. So it's going to be some specific takeaways that they can go and build in immediately to really stand out from what I refer to as, as the talking heads the voice mm, over yeah. PowerPoint decks. That's how we end up getting a, an opportunity to stand out from the crowd and have our, our, our message resonate the way we want to. So okay. uh, we enjoy you to come, come and play with me and Chris. It's going to be a great time. Uh, I, I look for Robin Roberts, who is one of our members, is going to showcase that day also. And uh, she, she also is somebody who really has a message that impacts the mind because she is a professional hypnotist. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be wild. And so it's going to be a full day. So enjoy. Come play with us on Saturday. Look forward to seeing you. Look forward to it. See you.